Hey, Tio, what's up? Hey, Zach, how are you doing? I'm doing good. You want to play a game? Yeah, sure. What do you have in mind? Um, I'm thinking two truths and a lie, but we'll make it about voting so that we're staying on topic. Interesting. Okay, let's do it. All right. Yeah. You want to go first? Yeah, I'll go. Sounds All right. Good. So in 2018, upperclassmen had a higher voter turnout rate than lowerclassmen. Okay. 52% of young people say that they need to rearrange their work or school schedule in order to vote. And it is illegal to write in a name on a ballot, which one's a lie? Hmm. 52% of young people say they need to rearrange their school or work schedule. That seems way too high. I'm going to go with that being a lie. Unfortunately, that's the truth. A lot of people have time, have a hard time making time to go vote on election day. Man, that's too bad. The lie was that it's actually not illegal to write in a name on a ballot. Okay, okay. All right. You ready to go? So, yeah. Okay. So, statement one, 55% of college students who registered to vote actually voted in 2018. Mm-hmm. Um, mail-in, voter, mail-in voting has a higher likelihood of fraud because postal workers could tamper with the ballots. And students majoring in education had the highest voter turnout rates followed by social science and humanities students um i'm gonna have to say the lie is the one about mail-in voting i know it's not risky to turn in mail-in ballots That's you're definitely I'm right there's no no evidence that mail-in voting has any higher likelihood of being uh tampered with so you're right good job all right let's go again um two. all right among college students, Black women had the highest voter turnout rate across the country in 2018. Okay. Um, in 2018, upperclassmen had a higher voter turnout rate than lowerclassmen okay. and cannot be registered to vote in more than one state. Hmm. I'm going to guess that the lie is that you cannot be registered to vote in more than one state. You're right. You actually can be. Oh. Very cool. So that's that's pretty useful. Away from home, you can yeah. definitely register to vote in where you go to school. That's pretty useful. Okay. You ready for the last round? I'm ready. Okay. So statement one, a third of voters under 29 say they didn't know whether they could register to vote online in their states. Mm-hmm. Um, statement two, 26% of young voters need help with their question about with their questions about candidates, ballots, and polls. And then the last one, election day in November is a federally recognized holiday. Um, I'm going to have to say the one about a third of voters under 29, not knowing whether they could register to vote online is a lie. No, unfortunately, that's the truth. And unfortunately, the lie there was that Election Day in November is not a federally recognized holiday. I could have sworn. I mean, isn't it a holiday in other countries? Yeah, you would think that we would be with that, but I guess we're not. Wow. Got to talk to my congressman about that. Yeah. Well, Zach, it's been super fun. Thank you for inviting me to play this game with you. Of course, Tia. Keep up the good work at Xavier. Of course. And don't forget to tell your friends to vote in November.